Hello everybody, Zeph here with Zeph's Trading. Hope you guys are doing well today, July 17th, 2024. This will be our chart lesson for today. Overall, broke yesterday's previous low, looking for a 21 EMA touch on the daily chart. The sell-off was inevitable, especially with how bullish it was. Maybe we'll see buyers here for the next coming days, but I feel like it might just be um, kind of a cool-off period of maybe some trading ranges. Overall, very hard price action for today. It's hard to read it. Um, but yeah, most of the selling in the pre-market session, as we can see here, and we'll just uh, jump into the trades. So the first real one that I saw was a nice first entry, second entry short here um, around five o'clock my time. But, you know, this clear visual two-legged pullback here in a downtrend uh, at the top of a trend channel. Very nice. Easy second entry short. Um, and then, you know, market opens here. You kind of get this nice measured move here, comes down. I saw a first entry, second entry, long, and then a nice failure here. So good failed second entry long right there. Break, pattern, sell off. And overall, you can see price action just going above EMA, below EMA, above EMA. And that we get a lot of these small upward trends and then to break to new highs, sells off. Again, very choppy, noisy day as you'll see. Overall, then again, if you are counting properly, you do get a nice first entry, second entry long, as long as this thing broke higher than lower, I think you can enter that on when the bearish uh, engulfing bar closes on its low, then enter and try to stop accordingly. That led to a pretty good winner, trapping a lot of bulls on that side. And then it just sells off here. There's really no pullback to the EMA or any clear second entry shorts or anything like that, which is unfortunate. But, you know, we bought them out here and move up to a new uh, upward bullish trend channel, break, get our new high. And again, kind of just same thing. It just kind of drifts slowly down, making lower lows, lower highs. And I just really don't see anything in this picture here for a while um, until this trade right here, which I saw a first entry, second entry short, or just a really nice ABC pattern pretty much here for a correction at the top of this trend channel. And, you know, you can draw this accordingly depending on how you want to see it. Um, I saw it as a bigger picture. Um, again, price is action just above or below the EMA. So you're not really looking at the EMA here anymore. And you're just looking for corrections in the direction of the downward trend, which you get. So a nice second entry short there. And as we continue downwards, we start going a little sideways. And price action, again, you can just see how many wicks there are, how many overlapping small bars there are. Um, that was my indication of today. It was a pretty hard trading day. And price action was really hard to read. Um, then you do get this really nice first entry, second entry long here in this trading range. Failed breakout. Um, and basically just support. So you're just trading based on basically looking for price to go back to the top of the range, which it does. Then you get this kind of little fake first entry, second entry short failure. Goes higher, I reject it again. Um, just trapping traders there. Sells off, bounces again. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then I see this nice first entry, pulls back, all one move up, second entry, long, it fails, lower high to confirm that at least we're still probably going to continue to go down. And that's how I saw it. Uh, and then we find support here, basically, again, at the bottom here, kind of sells off, get this double bottom, moves higher, break, new high again. Just small little corrections here. Overall, this is just a bigger trading range. You know, you can draw your trading range, something probably like this as well, which might be a little more accurate, I think. A um, few ways to draw it. Overall, you get the gist of it, though. And then continuing along here, this is where you get this nice downtrend. Again, kind of just these repeat failures of a first entry, second entry long failure. Enter that when the bearish bar um, closes on its low and catch a move down. Again, dropping the short traders. And then once we get our move down here, we do get a break and again, slowly drift downwards as we can see, just a gradual sell off. Basically the same thing here as this whole move down, just on a smaller little time frame. Okay, so after that happens, we then find support at the bottom here of a one, two, three, and four. I think this nice big outside bar closing on its high is a good signal of reversal to at least the top of the trend channel and the bears are done with the break and new low. That assessment was correct as it goes higher, sells off, break new low. Again, just really no setups here. I'm just marking and looking at what the 
two legs are of this move down. You get the break, new low, finding support, rallies higher, go sideways. So there's a lot of things going on here that I'm just marking to visually show um, as you're watching price action unfold. But it respected this broader downward khaki channel for um, pretty much all of today. And then we just get this break and price moves higher. And then I just, no second entry long, no higher low, nothing like that. Um, just really no trades. So unfortunately you do, you know, you don't get anything, but you see price action going above and holding above 20 EMA and then all of a sudden just drops off and fails. And again, first entry, second entry long, it fails. Just trapping the traders, trapping the traders, trading range behavior. Um, I did see this second entry short. I just thought it was not a good signal bar. Um, I saw this break and I was looking for the new low. I tried to get in with a limit order and it just sold off. So unfortunately, I thought this was, you know, a pretty decent trade. It's just not the best signal bar. Um, but context wise, that second entry short was quite uh, nice. Then I saw this move up. You kind of get this measured move. I saw this unfold here. I realized uh, the time was running out as market was going to close soon. And I figured they were going to sell this off. And I was correct, but um, I saw this leg down. I saw the break. And I was looking for a second leg down. And I basically entered on this trade right here. And I tried to get in on this bearish bar. I put a limit order in. I put my stop, you know, eight ticks originally. And then I saw this bar close and I realized I was pretty much wrong. Um, so this bar, next bar closed, put my stop one tick above, and I was like, you know, if it goes above it, it's, it's just going to go sideways again. So I was basically just trying to catch the breakout here of like a first entry, second entry long, and I was looking for a failure, looking for a quick scalp overall. Um, I think I forced a trade there for today, and not 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 a good setup overall. Just trying to catch a trying to catch a break, trying to catch a basically trying to call it top before the break happens, and it does happen. My assessment was right, but I really should just have been looking for a lower high or something to confirm it. Um, I think I was just a little too eager because I just didn't find anything that looked probabilistic at the end of the day. Wanted to get a trade in, so susceptible to bad emotional uh, behavior of just wanting to trade where I should have actually not taken a trade. Um, but I'm only human, so <laughs> that's just how it is sometimes. So, you know, seven tick stop, not the worst thing in the world, you know, kept kept the risk uh, small and overall not a good trade. Um, I think I was just a little annoyed that I missed the second entry here that I thought was actually a lot better. Anyways, uh, that's how I saw it for today. Again, very overall price action was really hard to read. Um, at least that's what I felt for today. Let me know your guys' um, thoughts below in the comment section, but yeah, not the best, not the best trading day. Definitely uh, past few days were a lot better. Nonetheless, we'll come back tomorrow, try to find something that's within our system on a high probability and go from there. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed this chart review and I'll see you guys tomorrow.